And I'm joined now by Emily Whitaker, president of Vistaprint North America, and Rich Gotham, president of the Boston Celtics. So great to have you both on. Uh, Rich, I do want to start with you. Why did the Celtics choose Vistaprint to partner with? How did this partnership come about, and why is this so important? Well, the, the partnership with Vistaprint is centered around a, a jersey patch, um, which to an NBA team, it's the equivalent of a of a building naming rights deal. It's really the biggest asset that we have. Uh, we did a long market search. Uh, we wanted to partner with a company that could take advantage of both a local presence in Boston, as well as a national and global footprint that the Celtics deliver. Uh, we partnered up with Vistaprint. And one of the things that was really important to us in that partnership was to make sure that we were partnering with someone who shared our values. If we're putting that name on our jersey, it becomes part of our brand. Um, so we got to know Vistaprint over time. And uh, the Power Forward program is just a, sort of a great testament to the shared values that the companies have. Uh, and not only you know a commercial partnership, but in, in trying to give back and, uh, and help those who need help the most. Emily, aside from cash, what kind of, of resources does this grant um, afford to these businesses? Yes, and that's actually what I'm most excited about. Not only are we extending a meaningful grant of 25,000, but we go beyond that to give personalized assistance to the recipients. And that could be in the form of marketing expertise of which we'll bring to the table, or it could be access to our shared platforms that the Celtics have, whether that be through media or through our design services or branding expertise that Vistaprint has. So we cer certainly aim to go well beyond just giving money. We hope that through these services, we're able to create lasting and impactful relationships with these recipients. Um, it, it's so incredibly important. Um, Rich, what, what is the role of, of the team in this partnership? How does it work? What kind of tools are you guys offering? So the, the Celtics, obviously, what we bring to the table is um, a platform. Um, we're extremely well known everywhere, uh, particularly in the African American community. Uh, we can bring visibility to this program. Uh, any companies that are interested in applying can go to celtics.com slash power forward uh, to apply. Uh, we've got a strong working relationship with the NAACP in Boston, who we're obviously partnering with to administer the grants. Uh, and, and through our Celtics United program, we've done a lot of outreach and a lot of research into some of the systemic issues uh, that um, that really you know are plaguing uh, small businesses, small black owned businesses from moving forward. So we feel like uh, we can make a really big impact here. We've got a whole uh, company of people aligned against Celtics United uh, to help us to um, help those small companies that are in need. Uh, you know, our research has shown us that uh, really only one out of four um, small owned, uh, black owned small businesses actually have a lending or borrowing relationship with a bank that uh, getting financing is, is less available and it's more expensive for them. So we think those are problems that we can help with. Emily, how can businesses apply? They can go to NAACP.org and find access and information there. Uh, recipients should be Black-owned businesses in the New England area with 1 to 25 employees. And Rich, what kind of impact do you think this could have on New England's Black-owned businesses long term? Um, you know, we, of course, it's, it's Black History Month, but so much of this is about really looking ahead and making systemic changes. So what do you think the long-term impact of this might be? Well, I, I think I think the long-term impact is, you know, we are looking for programs that are sustained. And I think with small businesses in particular, they need a certain, they need the injection of fuel to get to, to growth and scale. And I think if we can help them get to scale, we can make a long-term difference. I think that's the, the most difficult part is getting to scale. And I think if we're intentional and targeted with our programming, as we are with the Power Forward program, we can, we can help with a very specific problem, which is helping those businesses get to scale and give them a better chance for long-term success. And, and really, it, it is all about economic opportunity and empowerment. That's one of the pillars of our Celtics United program. Uh, and and we, we do think we can help uh, sustain the success of these businesses. 
All right, well, such a great program. Emily Whitaker, president of Vistaprint North America and Rich Gotham, president of the Boston Celtics. So great to have you both on talking about this. Appreciate it.